I'm Abby and I'm going to show you how to play Love Story by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. You guys voted for this one in the community tab, so here you go. Also, if you're one of my patrons, then you can download the lead sheet in the description. And we now have play along videos on Patreon as well. So you can practice playing the whole song along with me from start to finish. Also, I'm going to be playing the new Enya Soprano ukulele in this video. There's more information down below on that as well. So we're going to be learning this song in a different key from the original, but if you want to play along with the original, you just have to put your capo on the second fret. We have seven chords in this song and they're all down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is C. You're just going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and here's C. Then we have F. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's F. Then we have A minor. You're going to just put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's A minor. Then we have G. You'll put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. Then we have D, you'll put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second string. Here's D. Then we have A, you're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Here's A. And then we have B minor. I'm going to show you two different ways to play B minor. The first way is the easy way. You're just going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the second string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string, and you're going to avoid playing this top string. So you're just going to play these three. There's B minor. And then the second way is the bar chord. You're going to bar the whole second fret with your first finger, and I like to use the second finger to also help press down these strings. And then you're going to put your third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So here's the bar chord version. And those are all the chords. For the strumming pattern, we're going to be doing down, down, up, up, down, up on each chord, and that's going to happen for almost the whole song. Here's what that sounds like on C. We have down, down, up, up, down, up. And then there's a couple places where we're going to do a different strumming pattern, but I'm going to show that to you when we get to those spots. So first we're going to learn how to play the verse. Our chord progression is down here. We're going to be playing two bars of C, then two on F, then two on A minor, one on F, and one on G. So let's put in our strumming pattern. We're doing one strumming pattern on each chord. So it sounds like this. We have C. Now F. Now A minor. Back to F. And now G. And that progression happens two times all together for the verse. So now here it is all the way through with the words. We were both young when I first saw you. I close my eyes and the flashback starts. I'm standing there on a balcony of summer Now we're going to learn how to play the pre-chorus, and the first part of our chord progression is down below. We're going to start with F, then we have G, then A minor, and then C. So let's try it with the strum. We have one strumming pattern on each chord. So first we have F, then G, A minor. C. 
Then the next half of the progression is almost the same. We just have a G chord on the end instead of a C chord. And that dash next to the G chord means that we're going to strum just one time on that chord. So here's the second half of the progression. We have F, G, A minor, and then one strum on G. So now here's the pre-chorus all the way through with the words. That you were Romeo, you were throwing pebbles And my daddy said stay away from Juliet And I was crying on the staircase Begging you please don't go And I said Now we're going to learn how to play the chorus We have a new chord progression down below We're going to start with two bars of C Then we have two bars of G then two bars of A minor, one bar of F, one bar of G, and then we're going to end on C. So now here it is with the strumming pattern. We have C, now G, now A minor, So now here's the chorus with the words. Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I'll be waiting. All there's left to do is run. You'll be the prince and I'll be the princess. It's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Now we're going to learn the bridge and here's where we're going to do some different strumming patterns. Our first part of the progression is down below and we have those dashes next to all the chords. So we're just going to do one strum on each chord. So starting out we have the A minor chord, then F, then C, and then G. That gets played two times all together. And then for the second half of the bridge, we're going to play the same progression that we had in the chorus. But this time, we're going to be doing all down strums on the chords. So we have down, 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 down on each chord. And then on the last G chord, we're just going to do five downs. So down, 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 down. And then we'll mute the strings. So here's what the second half sounds like with the strum. We have C, C again. Now G, G again, now A minor, and again, then F, and G, and mute. So now here's the bridge all the way through with the words. I got tired of waiting, wondering if you were ever coming around. My faith in you was fading When I met you on the outskirts of town And I said, Romeo, save me I've been feeling so alone I keep waiting for you But you never come Is this in my head? I don't know what to think He knelt to the ground and put out and now we're to the last sections. We're at the final chorus and the outro. Here we go into a new key. So we have a new chord progression. We have two bars of D, then two bars of A, then two bars of B minor, then one bar of G, and one bar of A. And then on the second time through the progression, we're gonna have two bars of G at the end instead of G and A and then we'll finish on a D chord. And we're gonna go back to that down, down, up, up, down, up strum that we had before. So now here is the final chorus and the outro with the words. Marry me, Juliet, you'll never have to be alone. I love you and that's all I really know. I talked to your dad, go pick out a white dress. It's a love story, baby, just say.
And that's how you play Love Story by Taylor Swift. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more music. Those play-alongs are available on Patreon. You can use them to practice and it's also a really great way to support this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again really soon. Bye!